guys, today we're going to be talking about Reed, a 5-star DP on Kill Vanguard. Reed is a DP on Kill Vanguard that specializes in both defensive arts and offensive arts. Her talent is a simple rest buff like Matterhorn, and her rest provided by her talent is actually much higher than Matterhorn can. Obviously, Matterhorn is better when it comes to tanking arts because it have higher HP pool. Reed is also able to attack enemies with arts damage which is actually pretty good and can be useful in some places where high defense enemies can be a problem. Although I have to admit to not rely on Reed skill as your main source of arts because her arts damage is actually not that big. But moving on from that, it is pretty undeniable that fan guards are pretty outshine when utility fan guards are introduced, making Reed's archetype less noticeable by the community. But aside from the utility fan guards, there are times where Reed can actually shine the most, and one of them is 5-7. <laughs> LS5 H52 which we will watch soon And then there is Baron Plaza And stages with tight DP or high art strat Obviously, Middle can do the same because of her cheap DP, high DP regeneration, and also her cheap SP cost but as how outshine Reed is, it is actually pretty undeniable that Reed is actually a solid unit and works well as intended. Let's get started with C5. In here, I'm going to be using Reed as the only vanguard. Okay, let's get started with deploying Reed first, and then going to deploy Hang, and then going to deploy Cylon. Okay, first start is actually Arts Damage, which is actually pretty dangerous, but as you can see, Reed actually takes less damage than typical Vanguard does, which is actually pretty good. Okay, now, now you, can, you guys can see that she actually recovers a lot of DP for when her skill is activated and it's actually pretty good and then we can deploy Savage by then. Now let's deploy Gracer. Okay, now we can use her skill again and you guys can see that Grid can actually damage the armored enemies which is actually pretty nice because those enemies are actually pretty solid if you don't have high physical damage power and you pretty much use arch damage to actually deal with them most of the time at least okay now we can deploy guitar no? well not now okay now we can <laughs> Okay, now we can activate her skill again. And right off the bat, you guys can see that she actually did pretty high damage. Not as high as Figna, of course, because Figna has critical chance. But if you compare Reed with Figna, it's actually pretty clear that Reed does much more consistent damage than Figna because Reed does not have RNG on her talent. And then 
Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's continue with H5 tool. In here, I'm going to use read as the only GP source. Okay, now let's start with deploying read. I'm also going to deploy Yato because Yato is very cheap and we need to see how much GP that it can regenerate. Okay, now let's activate her skill as well. And now right off the bat you guys can see that it's already 40 which is actually pretty impressive. Now going to the castle and now we can actually deploy 3 fan guards in here. Okay, now going to deploy Cylon, also going to deploy Lapan, and then I'm going to deploy Matterhorn. Also, you guys can see that it can tank the arts pretty easily. Okay, now going to deploy Nightingale. Even when Nightingale's skill is activated, she cannot heal Vid because it's outside of her range. So yeah, she cannot dead pick me on that. <laughs> Okay, now you guys can see here, we actually already reaching pretty high GP just with Reed, which is actually pretty impressive. Okay. okay, now we already have all of our main damage, and that is actually pretty good, right? And just like, and just with single target Vanguard, it's actually pretty impressive that we can actually account for that much pretty easily. And also if you guys see, it's actually, she actually tanks the AoE caster pretty nicely. Okay, now going to... Okay, okay now going to activate the skill. Now even with the elite caster, she actually tanks pretty well, and it's actually pretty good. Uh, it's raining outside. <laughs> you guys might hear some rain sounds in here. Okay, now going to activate the skill again. And yeah, it's actually pretty much that this is a very generative composition. But for me, I use me as the main DPS on the left side. Which is actually pretty nice. Okay, now the big load is coming. Look at that, there's already 4 elite caster which is actually pretty dangerous. Okay, now going to activate the skill again. Now let's finish the stage. And we go! It's actually pretty easy though. <laughs> Alright, that's for today's video. If you like that video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe everyone and peace.